Japan. May is the month where we pay tribute to the contributions of Asian and Pacific Islander Americans to our country's history, culture, and achievements. And tonight we take a look at a local Hmong pastry chef who's winning accolades from coast to coast. Maury Glover has her story. I love the creativity. Um, I love the teamwork. As the pastry chef at Bellacore Bakery, Diane Moa has already enjoyed the sweet taste of success. But her path to get here hasn't always been a piece of her signature crepe cake. Seeing somebody grab a dessert, even whether if it's just plating or here in the bakery, knowing that it's making their day just something sweeter to make their day brighter, it's pretty amazing. Moa grew up on a farm in Junction City, Wisconsin, the daughter of Hmong refugees. And she says it wasn't easy being the first Asian family in the rural community where people would routinely drop dead fish and calves at the end of their driveway and smash their mailbox. I think my parents just got so tired of replacing our mailbox that to this day we have a P.O. box at the post office and we just stopped. We just gave up on trying to rebuild that mailbox. Moa says she developed a taste for making pastries after she saw the beautiful cakes at a Twin Cities grocery store. And after culinary school, she worked in some of the area's most respected restaurants, like La Belle V and Aquavit, before moving on to Spoon and Stable, Bellacore, and Demi. She's been nominated for five James Beard Awards, the Oscars of the restaurant world, for her colorful creations. And she uses her Hmong heritage to create plated desserts infused with a taste of home. Hmongs, we don't like sweet, sweet stuff. So it's always a balance. I always call it like a strawberry shortcake palette, um, where it's a little acidic and a little bit on the creamy side, so a lot of my desserts aren't that sweet. Moa says her new gig helping Bellacore Bakery grow to a second location in St. Paul allows her to have nights off for the first time in her career and spend more time with her two kids. But she says it's her parents who pushed her early in life that have given her all the ingredients she needs to succeed. In the beginning it was just a job, but now I'm so passionate about it. It's my life, it's my career. Um, and I'm going to keep going wherever that leads me. In Minneapolis, Maury Glover, Fox 9.